I think I'd better go. Thanks. Ashley, did you know? Of course I didn't. Ashley. Why would you do that? You were making a fool of it. I was trying to be kind. You should be ashamed. No. That was... disgusting. The innocent act again. Only now, Monon, you're not kidding anyone. Oh, Paddy. You two, best friends for all these years. Tell me there wasn't a better way. Ashley! Show me enough respect oh, to at no. least leave me alone, I'm please! I'm so sorry. I'm so Everyone's sorry. Everyone's sorry. Well, I was going to tell you. When you got round to it. T today, I was... But the vet beat you to it. You were going to tell me in there, in front of Marlon. No. I mean, that was actually the plan. How was that going to end? With him sitting down in my chair and drinking my wine? What is going on with this need to humiliate me? I mean it. What is wrong with you? I didn't even want to go there. You insisted. You two deserve each other. The blameless couple around whom things just happen. I thought you'd be getting your bucket and roller out while it's still light. You're actually serious, aren't you? It's funny, you know, I would never have had you choosing misplaced family loyalty over good business. Now, Jimmy, he's a donkey, but, I mean, you, I would have thought better of you, Carl. Somebody has been nicking the plastic gloves. Nicola hates it when I come in stinking a diesel. That might be true. But our majority share and our family loyalty says get that van cleaned up and back the way it was. Is that clear enough for you? Ashley, what are you doing? Going. This... This is horrible. We never wanted you to find out like this. None of this was deliberate. Marlon, this has been a long time in the making. So, um, please don't insult me by standing there and lying to my face. No, no. Think about it. I was about to leave for New Zealand. Me and Laurel... Me and Laurel. Oh. It just kind of... crept up on us. Was it creeping up on you? Whilst you were sitting there, um... listening to me tell you about my hopes. Me and her. Our future. Please, um... Just let me do this without you standing watching. How much? It's the side of a truck, yeah, not the Sistine Chapel. OK, well, if you can just get it done by tomorrow, that'd be good, thank you. He does a first-class job. I don't care if he's won the Turner Prize, yeah, this is a total joke. You should have had me call. He does his mates race. Really? Well, thanks for letting me know that, Jimmy. Ask Charity how much he's just agreed to pay for a paid job. Whatever. He's the only one that could do it straight away. Turning out to be an expensive day for you, innit? <laughs> and what with your rent rise? Looks like it'll be me buying the drinks tonight. So, you're, uh, putting the screws on Jimmy, then? Charmingly put. I know what you're driving at. And yes, I bought the trucks. So I'm saving money where I can. 
But don't get overexcited, cos I trust you... about this much, on a good day. Ashley! What are you doing? Think it's time, don't you? Where? I'm not 100% certain yet. But I've surely provided my fair share of entertainment by now. I'll have to find someone else to laugh at. No one's laughing at you. Oh, Diane, come on! Living under Marlon's roof while he... I'd be laughing myself if I didn't feel so numb. I can't. You can't not. I'm off to Moira's. Look, this one is for the back door. You want to see Marlon? Go now. I will in a bit. I promise. But I want to see my children first. Now? I'll go for a walk first and cool off. I was being stupid. Daring to think that Laurel and I could ever get over this. But she's not going to write me out of my children's lives. yell at me. When have I ever yelled at you? Right, whine then. I'm not gonna whine. Although I am a bit hurt. What? I'm out shopping for you for tea and you're, you're tricking me. How am I tricking you? This, by saying you're at home. I am home. You see, you're doing it again. No, I'm not doing anything, Nikhil. Can't you get it? That big house, it might feel like home to you. It just doesn't to me. I can't help it. I've tried. You've not given me a chance. What a wardrobe and a spag ball. Grilled chicken and tarragon. Oh, do you know how hard it is to talk to you sometimes? I can't help it. I, I don't want us to fight. Neither do I. I've never lived alone before. No one's asking you to. You'd be living with me. I mean, away from my family. I'm, I'm used to doing things a certain way. And I know things are going to be different when the baby comes. But I was worried if there were. Too many changes. I just, I don't want to mess up. I didn't realise. You're right, though, it'll never work. It might. How long have you got this place? As long as I want it. It's big enough. I mean, I could do with a bit of a clean. I could get one of my wardrobes over from home. Poor gate. Yeah? What do you reckon? So you didn't know? Marlon and Laurel, I thought it was all in the past. See? I go away for a bit, look what happens. Yeah, who'd have thought it, eh? A couple of months with Bernice, but you had to come home for a bit of romance and intrigue. I never said that. Yeah. Promise you won't tell anyone. Get your laptop. I've got something to show you. Oh, Diane, what have you been up to? Just don't judge. No. <laughs> this your idea of a bunch of flowers? You practically begged me to meet you here. What do you want, Alex? Just a quiet drink. A little chat. So, on a scale of one to ten, how much have you missed us? Well, if, like, ten is can't sleep at night and one is pretending you're dead, um, say about two. You dragged me all the way out here for that? Yeah, because I've missed you. Yeah, and your way of saying that to me is pretending I'm not even there. Yeah, well, I've got me pride. Well, a little bit. Look, come on, Vic. Well... If you must know, has been a little bit boring. See? Look, we've been dead daft. Right, don't push your luck. We have. Both of us. Look, all that effort at the wedding just to bin me off. Makes a change, though. From just me being an idiot. Oh, my God, why do so many of the men look like Alan Partridge? I don't know. Some of the women do and all. <laughs> And they've all picked pictures from when they were on holiday. 
bit of a tan, that'll be nice. Holiday slacks, blazer. Says I'm relaxed but successful. I've learned not to take too much notice of the photos mm. or the words. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a minefield. Isn't it always? <sighs> I suppose. But if you meet someone at a bar, at least they are who they say they are. <laughs> not even when they're introduced by an old and trusted friend. Mm. Anyway, enough about my exciting love life. What? Oh. If I'm speaking out of turn, just shout at me or something. OK. I hope you're not waiting until you stop missing John. I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. Sometimes you just have to let it happen. I know that. Be kind to yourself. Don't be afraid to take the odd risk. Life throws stuff at us for a reason. OK. What if I told you that I have taken a risk, I mean? OK. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm going to open this. And then you're going to tell me everything. What I want to know is this. You're making out like it was just me at the wedding, but it wasn't just me, was it? I didn't know what I wanted then. But now... I've had time to think. No. One day I'm invisible and you're acting like a prat, and the next day you want to hold my hand. It's better not just be some sick bet with Adam. It's not. Then what is it? It's just complicated. Alex, it's you. Can't be that complicated. Look, all right. I was a bit off at the wedding, but it wasn't you. I promise. There's someone else there? What? No. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. So you've been ignoring me for someone else's benefit? No. Who was it? No one. Joe, you know every time I think you might have just shaken your brain loose and got it working, this happens. From now on, just leave me alone. He just what? Took off. Yeah, he, he just packed his bags and left. Look, I'm going to carry on looking for him. How? Wander the streets calling his name, rattling his food bowl with a fork. I warned you, Laura, no more secrets. And now look. How many more humiliations do you think he can take? It's not her fault. I didn't ask you, young man. Keep your mouth shut. Has he moved in? No, he was helping me to look for you. He was worried. I'm touched, Marlon. I should go. Yeah, why don't you do that? I've come to see the children. Ashley, now's not a good time. They've just gone to bed, and not in this mood. You don't know what kind of mood I'm in. OK, let's get some things straight. They're as much my kids as yours. In fact, if we want to get all technical about it, they're more my kids than yours. So I'll decide whether now's a good time. Nevertheless, Ashley, they have just gone to bed. I'm staying at Diane's. I'll come back tomorrow. Hearing this from me, I don't like the way you go about things. <laughs>